in our Deaf Perspectives project with Deaf Young People at Bury St Edmunds in autumn 2023, you co-led the workshops with James Redwood. What were the benefits and what were the challenges of working with another musician who is not deaf? Um, it was amazing working with Jane. Jane is such an incredible composer. I love how he took on young people's ideas and then put it together and make it into such a big orchestral piece. I think the students were amazed and the teachers were amazed. I was amazed. It's just such a big, small idea, small body percussion idea turned to something really big and brilliant. And I think that the inspiration we want to feel and going through it. Um, the challenges I would say is I think we want more of it. And um, I like to have more time, Jane, um, doing more things. But we achieve so much in such a short time frame. And I think the students now feel wow this is what you can do with music is james make we working together and we make it seem so easy you know what seemed before maybe it's not accessible they don't really play together in a big group and that all be made possible i think it's fair to say that james learned a lot from working with you too Yes, um, it's more about communication, isn't it? Um, you can't just talk and walk away. You have to make sure that the student can see you. And also, use your hand a bit more, point and gesture, understanding how to work with the BSL interpreter, um, thinking about our aesthetic needs as well. We want them to be written down sometimes. We like to do something in paper, um, giving pointed or theme induction in dying language like snowball battle and things like that port and cool we want to do a bit tiny so i think we learned more about communication at its best brilliant thank you there were many beautiful moments in the co-creation process with the deaf young people and the players from britain symphonia were there any things that were really magical and special that stood out for you? I think when we had two musicians that came every week, Emma, who had done the oboe, and British, Bridget, and the viola, they are the two unusual instruments, it's not an instrument that we see every day in just such a nice style and instrument to be part of. Um, both of them are great communicators working with students. We don't, they did not know any stand language beforehand and I think they were a little bit nervous perhaps, but they realised through music you can communicate together and find a way and then you become really connected in that way. So, yeah, I think when I look back, I think about how we communicated together to be music and made friends in that way. One thing that I was struck by, Ruth, was the excitement in the audience as well as amongst the performers. I think everybody was just um, blown away by what the the young people could do together with the orchestra, and it made something really special in the room. Did you feel that as well? I agree. I think um, because we had a master screen, didn't we, of pictures and images of Wilton Barrow photo, and Wilton Barrow was the local photographer in their area. And back in those days, photography was just developing and he captured the area and he was deaf as well. It's such a great role model, I think we were all feeling it. And to have this photo auto captioned and words would made it accessible for them, the audience who were deaf coming to watch it and following our journey. We had so much to offer. We had solo, we had group work, we had picture, we had presentation. 
all of that in one hour? Certainly, I've been producing projects for many, many years, but for me, it was a very special night, and uh, one that I'll never forget. But really good to hear.